Yo, yo, it's the hype man set. AJ Tracy live and direct. DJ Mash up the mash up the deck. We might record chances live and direct. Set bubble, light now. Cruise like a four wheel drive now. Tech time, everything's live now. We got AJT on the mic. That's the bubble, pause that. Cruise like a four wheel drive now. Tech time, everything's live now. We got AJT on the mic. That. No one knows me. No one sees what I've seen you. No one feels the same. No one sees myself like you do. Yo, I'm rock star. Get in the heart. Whenever I say yo, I break out into AJ Tracy. Anyways, yo. Yo, I'm yo, it's the hype man set. AJ Tracy live and direct. Hello everyone, coming live to you from Kuala Lumpur. Today I wanted to talk about being Delulu and I was thinking back to when I was a bit more delusional before I was a YouTuber and how everything just manifested for me. And I would say I'm not really delusional at all anymore because unfortunately I would say I'm quite grounded and humble and down to earth. But would a humble person call themselves these things? That's another question. Perhaps I'm not modest. Perhaps I'm humble, but I'm not modest. I'm joking. I'm from Australia. In Australia, we have this thing called tall poppy syndrome. You're like up here. Imagine like, you know, a tall poppy sticking out and then all the other flowers are lower than them. We will cut down the tall poppy so everyone's at the same level. This is what Australia is like. So I found when I became successful on YouTube, I really, really started to humble myself. I wouldn't even say I was proud of my achievements because I was not allowed to feel proud in my country. That is how I felt genuinely in Australia and around the friends that I had. And I also, I felt guilty for having this success. Even though I worked for it, I felt very guilty all the time. And all of this contributed to me no longer being Delulu and honestly manifesting things going wrong in my life. When I was in high school, I just knew I was gonna be a YouTuber. I was Delulu about it. No matter what, I'd be like, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. I'm gonna be successful. I'm gonna be YouTube famous. I would be on the way to my marketing job when I was 19, writing this letter to myself daily in my notes going, Simone, you're only in this job temporarily because your YouTube channel is gonna blow up any day now. And it did. I actually got fired from that job, had a fight with the boss, whole other story. And then the next day, my YouTube channel blew up. You call it being delusional or literally just having self-belief, but either way, it will manifest. I was blowing up at that time. My channel was very, very, very rapidly growing. I was growing by like 5,000 subscribers a day. People were obsessed with my content. If you were around in that like 2019 era where I was doing like vlogs and I was like very silly online in my university dorm, I was growing so quickly. People were obsessed with my videos. The more I believed in myself, the more I believed that I was just going to be this massive vlogger, the more I grew online. And the moment my channel actually started to slow down a lot was when I started to humble myself and believe that I was nothing special. I literally used to just believe, no, I'm special. There is no other channel like mine. And to be honest, back in the day, 2019, there was not a lot of channels like mine. The type of editing I had, the humor, it was not very common, which is why I blew up even faster. But the moment I started to no longer think that I was special, that I was like every other channel on YouTube, my my growth was just stagnant. And you may be asking, Simone, well, why didn't you just switch your self-concept back to being, I'm a superstar? I think I just didn't care enough. I didn't want to. I was quite satisfied with the way I was growing and I still am in a way because to be entirely honest, I don't crave fame at all. I have had my little taste of fame being a YouTuber online and it is quite scary. When people say to me, I wanna be famous. I'm like, no, you don't. You want admiration and validation from everyone and constant attention. That's what you want. Go get 100,000 followers on a platform and you will get that, you'll get your little taste and I can promise you, your desire for more fame is gonna go. If you're one of the few people who still desired after, um, Good for you, I guess, or sorry, that sucks. But it really goes to show how having this delusional belief in yourself will quite literally manifest the right opportunities in your life. Because if we go into the manifestation aspect, whatever wavelength we're on, we will attract the same wavelength opportunities into our life. Like Joe Dispenza says, whatever you want in life, you have to get on the same frequency in order to attract that particular like quantum potential into your life out of the infinite quantum potentials. They all exist. So you just have to decide what you really want. And you know, when I was 19, I was so, so, so clear on what I wanted. I knew that I wanted to be a YouTuber. 
which is why I was also able to manifest that. Also guys, if you are lost in life and you don't know what you want to do and you need some guidance, look at your birth chart. You can get a birth chart reading or talk to a psychic. I've actually done all of those things when I was younger and a great platform to do that on is Keen. So I've talked about Keen previously. I used this platform when I was going through my breakup to figure out what my ex was doing and she predicted Actually, I talked to six psychics. You guys will get this offer as well, but it was like $1.99 for 10 minutes. And I used six psychics and I spent like one minute on each of them, copy and pasted my message. And I'm like, tell me the details, what is going on? They all said the exact same thing and it played out. So Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and astrologers. If you want a reading on Keen like I did, it's very, very easy to start. All you need to do is create an account and then you'll be able to choose from hundreds of readers who are online right now. All of them have very unique specialties to provide deeper understanding of your situation. You can learn more about your love life, talk to a pet, get guidance on where you want to go in life, find out if they're cheating on you. Keen has a reader ready for whatever the situation is. And then you'll be able to connect with them via phone call or text. So as a new customer in Keen, you can get the offer where you only pay $1 and then you get five minutes. Go to the link in the description below to take advantage of this right now. Additionally, we can talk about lucky girl syndrome a little bit. It's all self-concept. If you believe you're lucky, you're going to be lucky. For example, if you think you're unlucky, any little thing that happens to you, even if it's a normal day occurrence, it's quite common, it happens to everyone, you're just gonna perceive yourself as being unlucky and it will add to that. If you perceive yourself as being lucky, same things are going to happen. Also, you're going to get on that wavelength of being lucky. I also found personally, when I am on the wavelength of believing I'm lucky and believing that good things happen to me, that is when good things happen to me. And then naturally, when I think things are going wrong and my life sucks, things do go wrong. And part of it is confirmation bias, because like I said, you notice it more. If someone goes and tells you, do you notice how much yellow there is in the world? You're gonna start to notice, oh my God, wow, like yellow is everywhere. Am I manifesting this? You might not be manifesting it. You might just be noticing it more. Furthermore, I don't actually think it's entirely healthy to be delusional. The delusion I had in terms of my self-belief was good, but the delusion that people have when they start to make excuses for others, for example, you see these TikToks where girls are like, oh my God, he, he's not replying to me fast and he ghosted me because he's just afraid of his feelings for me. And then they believe it, like some people believe it. That is not a good Delulu. That is not good. That is unhealthy and it will get you into trouble. You have to be realistic sometimes. Having delusional confidence is good for the most part, but having delusions about another person is not good. And you can argue, because I know like, you know, the law of assumption people will argue this, but oh, if I'm delusional about this person, that can be true, yet I don't think it's healthy. And I've said this in another video, obsession is not healthy. If you obsess over someone, you're putting so much energy into them and they'll be able to feel it and they will be repelled. Which is why most of the time we attract things into us when we detach and we no longer care. Genuinely, things tend to flow to us when we are detached. It's like that magnetic pull. We pull it to us. And I've collected enough data to know this to be true and to know that this happens to me as well. My mum also had this delusional belief that I was going to get into the school that I should not have gotten into, quite frankly. And I talked about this in my manifestation success stories video from 2021. But we would walk the path that I would walk if I went to this school and my mum would talk as if I'm going to this school. I would have called it delusion now, call it delusional manifestation, but I really shouldn't have gotten in. My grades at this point in time were not good. I was 12, very, very terrible grades, and I was trying to get into this gifted and talented program. So I shouldn't have gotten into this school, but I did get in. I was actually one of the only 10 people in the entire state who got into this school. Thank you, mother, for being delusional. Like, I don't even think I believed I was going to get in, but I did. Instead of like working on being delusional, I would say work on your self-concept, just like how I believed that I was going to be YouTube famous. I just believed it and I knew that it was going to be true despite quite literally all of my friends telling me it would never happen, I believed it. If you don't have any self-belief in yourself, you really can't complain about your life and be like, I'm never gonna achieve anything. If you believe you're not gonna achieve anything, of course you're not gonna achieve anything. If you believe you're going to achieve great things, you will achieve great things. What magnitude, who knows? But I know you'll do better than the average person because at least when you believe in yourself, it means you have some type of drive to get you to where you want to go. I think your mindset is something you have to constantly work on. Mine fluctuates a lot and I found 
my self-concept of myself was actually a lot better when I was um, like 19, 20 and it was because there was no TikTok around then. I talked about this in another video, but when you're consuming so many of these TikTok, they're kind of like subliminals in your brain. Our subconscious is absorbing all of this information. So if you're ingesting such negative content where people themselves are talking badly about themselves or making a self-deprecating joke, you absorb that. So I noticed my, my self-concept is constantly up and down sometimes. This humbled me. I'm humble. And this humbled me, you guys. Like, I'm humble now. Just a humble girl in an ordinary world. <laughs> But I'm trying to get back on my Delulu, but my healthy Delulu. And I'm doing that by scripting and affirmations and meditation. When I get into a certain state in meditation, maybe after 20 minutes, I actually find I have access to my brain and I can reprogram it really easily. But it immediately goes south when I start to consume this negative content again. My mindset is much, much better when I'm off the internet. And I also manifest things a lot faster. When I'm on holiday, actually, when I'm abroad, I'm not in Australia, I manifest very, very quickly. And it's because if you've read Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joe Dispenza, if every day, you, you know, you're living in the predictable future, aka you're doing the same things every day, the same routine, you're not going to manifest any change in your life because you're doing the same thing every day. When I'm on vacation, every day is different. There is no routine. And that's why I manifest quickly when I'm on vacation because I can choose to be whoever I want to be. Every day is different. Who am I today? And my energy is also very, very different. Within two days of coming back to Australia, back to the old self. So that's just food for thought. Go out and change your routine. Work on becoming the person you want to be. Be a healthy type of Delulu. I will, I will never, ever, ever advocate for being delusional about a person. Being delusional about yourself and your confidence is good. However, if you are the type of person, like perhaps you actually have no talent and you have this delusional belief, you will have talent. Be wary that there might be a cruel person in the world who will come and humble you one day, but that's not on me. That's life. Celebi. Okay. <laughs> I went on a little bit of a tangent here, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. I actually released a TikTok video with Ibrahim Kamit recently. He made such an incredible video. Take care. Have a good day. Buy the mind formula. Take care. Have a good day. Buy the mind formula. Ciao. Tschüss. Ich liebe dich. Over and over, honey. Over and over, honey. You are my money. Jealous, I love. You are my money. Jealous, I love. You are my money. Jealous, I love.